Hello, people! Welcome back to the Tenchu Step Assassins PT Ayame. Her original outfit ain't bad either, though. She's cool all around. So, level six, infiltrate the Manji Cult. Definitely a, a fan favorite stage. Very creepy environment. But this stage is what I'm talking about when I say this game just has like this grim dark vibe to it. And this is when it really gets amped up because you just see these weird like cultists dancing around and shit. This stone has the power to control minds and alter bodies. It has been stolen by a strange cult calling itself the Manji. The Manji are using it to go from temple to temple, slowly building an army of zombie-like followers. Soon, they will start attacking villages, then towns, then cities. You must recover mm, the this soundtrack is... <laughs> Gotta be one of the best PlayStation game soundtracks. Easy. Okay. Uh, oh, let me see. Alright. Let's get, uh, hold up, uh, the code, left, left, down, down, square, square, triangle, circle. Okay. So, how are we going to play this this time? I quite enjoy using the fire eater scroll, to be honest. It was, that was pretty fun. I can't even lie. Um, you know, I, I tend to just take, I tend to just go ahead and take, uh, at least, you know, something like this, you know, some of the elite offensive ninja tools. Let's bring two of these, you know, never can go wrong with health. You just got to account for everything. I don't think there are any dogs on this stage, which is good. Can't stand the motherfuckers. Because really, the problem with the dogs is they kind of force you to bring shurikens, which aren't that useful outside of that you can kill enemies with them but um only it, it only makes sense to try to kill like weaker enemies with it and as you progress through the game you don't run into a lot of weak enemies so you know kind of just becomes less and less useful only particularly useful for the dog so okay let's uh i kind of want to use these mines yeah <laughs> yeah let's do it bombs away bombs away yeah we're gonna have fun we're gonna have some fun i'm uh shit might even take another one we are fighting onikage this time but you know you got to get an opportunity to actually plant the shit or you'll get rocked Ooh boy i'll take six Beware of deranged cultists. Stay alert, stay alive. Examine the statue from top to bottom. You know, I think one flaw with this game, if you want to look at it like that, it's so easy to just run to the exact area <laughs> where the boss is at and just go ahead and finish the level like that. Um, I think more levels should have had stipulations like, the, you know, level five, where you got to defeat the bodyguard first. Then you can go to the boss. I think more of these levels need at least like one or two sub objectives before you can go ahead and fight the boss. But the way the game is designed, it's really easy to just go find, go to the boss and get it on the crack and, you know, finish the mission pretty early. But it is what it is. Oh shit, you're mine! I guess it's kind of hard to get a stealth kill on them because they're sort of turned to the side even as they're moving forward. Oh, there's another one. I'm surprised he didn't see me there. <laughs> Whoa. Like, how did you miss that? <laughs> Fucking blind motherfucker right there. Blind as a bat. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't like this stage very much. Maybe because it creeped me out. 
But now as an adult, man, this stage is really awesome. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot more now, but it, it's a creepy ass place. And it just it has a, a different vibe from most of the other stages. Oh boy, how long is it gonna take? <laughs> Damn. This is exactly what that guy in that tent you thread was talking about. <laughs> How they just stand there facing your direction. But, I mean, you gotta think about it. Why would you just turn to face the wall like he's doing now? I get it. At some point, you gotta let the player be able to take him out. But, come on. Why are you gonna just stare at the wall for a second? <laughs> let me look at this wall for, is that for approximately seven seconds. This has to be one of my favorite PlayStation games, though. Let's see, I think he's still there. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, now I'm lost. I got, I got disoriented. Ayame, that was fucking beautiful. Wow. But yeah, I think this game would, would be, I don't know if I'd say better, but it, it would force the player to work more if you couldn't just run straight to the boss. Because right now, I could go right to him. Typically, the, the one disadvantage to going straight for the boss is that um, if you get seen along the way, then it'll be difficult to get the Grandmaster ranking. If you just try to run straight to him. So, you know, typically you do got to put in like some effort. Don't get me wrong. If you want Grand Master, it is. If you don't care about getting a, a good score, then you really can just kind of run straight to him. But then the other disadvantage is that um, you increase the likelihood of other enemies getting involved in, in the battle with the boss. Because they'll probably follow you if you're just running straight to the boss. You know, it, it, unless I'm going for Grandmaster, you know, I'll typically play to, you know, clear out enemies as I go along and then just try, kind of feel my way around until I, I arrive at the boss. But to a certain extent, a lot of what I do is just is just fun. Yeah, <laughs> like just it's, just it's just fun playing the game. It's fun being a ninja trying to get as many undetected stealth kills as you can, and, and but also another thing too is the ninja tools because you can find you you can find more tools if you explore the area too. That's another advantage to taking your time and not just running straight to the boss. So there are advantages, but I think it, it would be more of an incentive. It would be more of an incentive if it was, you know, a bigger part of each mission to actually do something else outside of just finding the boss. He might do a quick turn. I don't care, though. I'm taking that throat. Like, it's facial abuse. Another guy right there. I'm not going to, oh, be very patient with this guy. I'm taking throats. Man, Ayame is on a roll right now. <laughs> she, I didn't get, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. But I guess it's, at this point, it's a matter of experience. Having just got done with Ricky Maru playthrough, I'm just I'm hot right now. I'm hot and fearless. I'm 
Yeah, I remember that guy there. All right, so let's wait a bit. Yeah, so this building right here, I believe, leads you right to the boss. So <laughs> it's like, it's like, why do you, why would you keep exploring instead of just going in here and, and initiating, you know, the boss fight? But there are a couple enemies in there too. So you, so I will say this level is better designed in that. The boss where you, I mean, the area where you encounter the encounter the boss has like, I think about three or four enemies in there. So just trying to go straight to the boss in this level is not actually very smart. I mean, you could, but then you got to contend with three or four enemies. So I will say this level is probably better designed in that, in that regard. And you know. I, I think level eight too is another one because that's the one where you have to get the herb for the princess and that's more of like a standard stage where you got to get to the end of it to grab an item so it does force you to have to go through the entirety of the stage and the final stage as well because it's, it's designed in a similar way where um, there is no shortcut you know there is no easy way to get to the boss it's just you got to make your way there Oh shit, that was close. That's that's how I died in uh level eight with Ricky Maru. Classic mistake, right? Okay, and we got this guy over here. Nice. Ooh! Ay <laughs> Ayame. <laughs> Ayame, oh. She's in a flow state right now. <laughs> she is in a, an assassin flow state currently. She's just getting it. Now where is this guy? Oh, there you go. Alright, let's see what he does. Ah, so that's what that sound was. I thought somebody was close by. Well, it, him, but somebody other than him. I mean. <laughs> well, oh, yep. Yeah. He could have got me. I, <laughs> he definitely could have got me there. Somehow he didn't. That was like miraculous. <gasps> Somebody is right there too. She's, I mean, what the hell, Ayame? <laughs> like, you just, <laughs> like, you just on it tonight. It's like when a basketball player gets super hot. Mm, somebody is super close too. Wow, where is he? Somebody found a dead body. 
I think that was the first peep anybody made so far. Damn, I can't see this guy. I'm going for it, fuck it. Wow, <laughs> got him too. Oh shit, he might see me. Oh, there we go. I think they breathe fire or some shit like that. So blocking it will not be effective against those bastards. Okay. I think I'm about ready to go see the boss. I mean, no point waiting all night. I've already showing off. Look at that booty, goddamn! Every now and then you got you gotta take a moment to appreciate Ayame's butt. Okay. I'll be more careful in here than I was last time when I played with Ricky Maru. I was just giving my location away. Oh shit. <laughs> hey. He saw me falling down. Cool. What a fucking idiot. Oh <laughs> hey. my god. I made the thug ninja. <laughs> That was beautiful. Oh shit, that was an accident. Gave my, my location away on accident that time. Did not mean to do that. Where are you? Oh well. This guy's life is uh about a minute away from being snuffed out. Take a deep breath, enjoy the moment. Oh, ooh, you close. Oh, you done. All right, let's go to the other side. Yeah, you still wanna make sure you clear this area out cause there are enemies. There are at least like goddamn four enemies in here. That's why I say this level is probably better designed because they did account for the fact that the player might just run up and try to take on the boss prematurely. And you at least got to deal with these guys before you do. But I think maybe they could have made like the front, like the gate better guarded or something. Like it's not even well guarded. You know, do something. Shit, that's all I'm saying. You can backflip too. <laughs> I should have made more use of this with Ricky Maru. I didn't use it very often. Oh, oh now we gotta. Get this shit. 
There we go. Okay. I think I'll use the Super Shuriken for Onikage. Oh shit. I know what you want. You want the stone. You know what? I think now, now that I see it, the trick to this level that would throw players off is the fact that you have to examine, you have to get on top of that statue. Some people might have actually missed that, and that would cause them to have to walk around try to figure out what to do. It just means I have to gut you. Just a guess, though. Fuck! I try. See, that's the problem with the mines and the boss battles. But once you got it, you got it. That's the beauty of it. Boom. My, my, once you got it, you got my it. But I, I think if I use it, I got to make sure I put more distance between me and the That's boss or enemy. Oh, the first Onikage battle. I found that somewhat amusing. Somewhat. I mean, just check this guy out. No sword, no spells. <laughs> just, I'm going to kick you in the mouth. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh. Ah, I got him. <laughs> I underestimated you. Next time, you die. You got to be so careful with that because <laughs> when you plan it, you know, he's fast. So he'll, he'll run straight to you. So you got to you gotta make sure you got it away first. Grandmaster, baby. Grandmaster. Wow. You know what's funny, though? In a way, Ayame is having an easier time getting Grandmaster because she's not going for every undetected kill. She's getting spotted less. <laughs> and that's why she's getting Grandmaster because it's the... Under the points from the undetected kills be combined with the points from not being spotted. Ricky Maru was spotted a lot because I was trying to get every kill. But the thing was, I didn't want to focus so much on not being spotted because I think in a way that would have been more frustrating for me. The Going for the undetected kills allowed me more... It allowed me... It allowed me to be more certain in the fact that I would get Grandmaster. I'll put it like that. That way I was always certain I would get it. As long as I got, as long as I made it my mission to kill every single enemy. But you know, the thing about being spotted, sometimes things just get out of control you get spotted once and you run away and get spotted twice you can't lose the guy and you just, shit like that happens and that's what i was trying to avoid but ayame has found a way she ain't getting grandmaster every time but she's doing quite well together with silk gunpowder and exotic spices have come something less desirable pirates pirates luffy and his gang are here captain under the cover of the ship's powerful cannons, Balmer and his crew have wrecked havoc on the town. You must destroy these barbarians and restore peace. This one is personal. This ain't about Japan versus Japan. This is Japan versus foreigners. Let's band together. Let me call about Onikage. <laughs> like, bro, we got a, <laughs> we got a problem. I'm building a team. <laughs> Oh, man, I wish there was an Onikage mod or something. Oh, imagine that. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what are we bringing? What are we bringing? There might be dogs here. There might be dogs. I wouldn't be surprised if there are dogs. Mm hmm. 
I think I'll bring the fire scrolls for the boss. What's this shadow? Oh, hell no. We all know that shadow decoy ain't worth a goddamn. That shadow, <laughs> that shadow decoy, man. They might as well keep that shit. Throw that mug in the trash. Okay. I mean, I probably don't want to take too many bombs because bombs are going to be useful for the final boss. Now that I think about it, I might want to hold off on that and just make sure and make sure that I I have enough for the boss cuz they're very, they're very 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 useful for him <laughs> very useful so i think at this point in the game i'm going to just let her use the, everything else but that uh i mean we can afford to use a, a a few we can afford to use a few for sure um But I think I'll use the smoke bombs up. Because those are the one item that, yeah, it's kind of, you know, very, uh, very unlikely to be useful later in the game. Uh, I'm not going to worry about dogs. I'm not going to worry about dogs. Smoke bombs are kind of weak too, though. It's a good getaway tool, but mid battle it just kind of has the enemy stunned a little bit. But a lot of times they block even when you try to attack them after stunning them with the smoke bomb. So, oh, all right, let's watch this guy closely. Then looks okay. Ooh, yeah. It's all about timing and patience, baby. Oh, shit. Hold up. Oh. There you go. I just thought about fucking Goemon's Great Adventure. For some reason. Nintendo 64 game. Okay. The game got fucking hard. <laughs> okay. Is that a smoke bomb? At least you don't find guys on the roof in this stage. Oh, missed it. Okay. Going up. You gotta appreciate the enemy variety in this game. The fact that they really didn't reuse too many of them throughout the game. Like, a lot of the stages have unique enemies. Like, these pirate enemies you only see on this particular stage. Oh boy, I'm trying to get a. There's another guy over there too. <laughs> Sleep tight, fat bitch. <laughs> this is Ayame's first time seeing a fat person. Oh, never mind. You you fight like two fat bosses in the game. I was trying to make a all Asians or skinny joke. Didn't quite work. <laughs> this guy just posted up in the corner, boy. Let me see if this will work. Yep. <laughs> I was worried because I was facing him. And I figured he would see me before the attack would actually hit him. But, yeah, keep in mind, too, that the enemies... Um, even when they see you, they still have to take their weapon out. They have to take their weapon out first. Because if you attack if you attack them before they take their weapon out, it counts as an instant kill. I don't know if it counts as a stealth kill, because maybe you you're technically detected, but it definitely counts as an instant kill if they don't have their weapon out already. So do you, even when they see you, you have like a split second to get them. All right, 
right, let's see. Nope, didn't work. I landed on him. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. He went into alert mode, but I still got him with an instant kill. Whatever, I'll take it. Okay, we went. <laughs> I went right back to where I was the beginning of the stage. I think I did the same thing with Ricky Maru too. Oh well. Oh, somebody's close. Somebody's real close. Like right around the corner, close. I'm glad I didn't try to pick up that smoke bomb, but if he's as close as I think he is. Dude, what the hell? Where is this guy? I'm gonna get seen like this. I can't spot him. You know, you gotta see them before they see you. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? This is weird, yo. I hear him, I see him. There you go, okay. You gotta be careful with that downward, that downward attack though. Oh sh Oh shit! I have never seen that stealth kill before in my life, I don't think. Wow, I'm going to chop that out, put it on Twitter. I don't think I've ever seen that stealth kill before. I don't know why I got it either. Wow. Of course they had to give Ayame a, a sexy stealth kill. Uh, wrap wrap the legs around the motherfucker. <laughs> stealth kill. Just, it, it, you know, no, no Kunoichi is complete without it, right? I should go pick up that smoke bomb, but... Uh, let's get it. Okay, let's go. Man, I gotta say, it's, it's... I like playing this way. I like playing this way, you know? I think early on, I was too reckless. And I think now I have that perfect balance where, you know, you, you, you gotta put stealth first. Put stealth first. But don't be afraid to take risks. You know, don't be afraid to go for something that, like, flashier kills, you know, the dive... You know, the, the, the dive slash kills and whatnot. You know, if you see an enemy and they turn their back, go for it. You ain't got to wait to examine their pattern five goddamn times. <laughs> you know, I think this is just a more balanced way of playing. You know, put stealth first, but be be ready to fight. And that's pretty much how I'm playing it right now. And that's been working out for me quite well. I think with Ricky Maru, I was so stressed about getting those stealth kills that it really it slowed me down a lot. Oh, somebody saw that dead body. It slowed me down a lot. And really tried my patience. And I'm a patient, I'm a patient gamer, so it's fine with me. You know, shit. Yeah, y'all don't know. I come from Metal Gear Solid, man. I ain't played one in a while, but so I know about patience. That was a guy close to this area just now, but seems to be gone. Somebody's still in alert mode too. Okay, he seems to have relaxed. I know there's a there's a. Damn, I can't do it. I think there's a townie over here. Uh oh. Damn, see, you land on him. That's the problem. Sometimes you just land on the guy. Now he's running away. Fuck. He fucked up my whole flow. He 
he fucked up my whole flow. I shouldn't try to pursue him like that, because he was really determined to get away. And he's not as slow as the archers. There he goes, too. This motherfucker's fast, boy. <laughs> them Spaniards got some legs on them. Yep. Fuck, still got him. Okay, let's do it. Let's do battle in the street, boy. Fat boy. Fire Jutsu! Smoke! I jumped over him for no reason. I was trying something. This guy's a defensive genius. Okay. See, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, just playing a bit more free. Hey, you, they saw me. Fuck you. Let's go. You know. And you know. It also allows you to have fun by bringing more of the offensive ninja tools. Again, the little fire, fire little fire style jutsu Sasuke moment there. But then you can always fall back on the steps for the easy kill, you know? Okay, there's somebody else close to. It's about this way. Ooh, a grenade. Yep, I knew it was a sleeper. You gotta be careful though, man, because I've had, you've seen like at least two times so far where I tried to, I tried to kill the enemy by diving, diving onto them with a downward slash and um, it didn't work because I landed right on top of them. <laughs> the blade has to hit them, not Ayame's feet. And that's part of the problem. I wish that it didn't work like that because it's hard enough pulling those off as it is. The fact that you can make the mistake of just landing perfectly, too perfectly on them, that's too much to me. I don't think that was really a, a good thing, but probably more of an oversight than something that's intentional, if I had to guess. I don't think they say, oh, this is going to be a thing. Hop on their head. <laughs> oh, there's a townswoman. Like running into, I'm running into too many goddamn regular people. I'm thirsting for blood. Okay. Hmm? Speaking of blood. Well, he, it, it happened again too. He def, he definitely saw me. Help! Why are they snitching on me though? Like y'all being occupied by fucking pirates, dude. Y'all snitching? Can't you see I'm Japanese? I don't think there's any reason to kill that big guy over there though, cause it's not, it's not like he can help out Bomber. The ship is way over here, but I'm gonna make sure nobody else is around for sure. Cause I bet it is. Yep. Oh, if he see me, he see me. Oh, he was a little bit too slow turning around. All right. All right. Let's get rid of this big motherfucker here. What's up with the trope of? Oh, hold on, never mind. Time to fight. Wait, what's up with the whole pirates not like like missing an arm thing or missing a hand? Oh shit! Ninja jutsu fire! I, I got it mixed up. 
<laughs> you see me doing all this extra shit? He can't see me. He couldn't see me. <laughs> wow. I. You won't see him where you're going. Wow. Wow, Master Ninja. I almost got. I almost got a. Uh, Grandmaster, that one moment where I was chasing the guy down the street, that's what got me. I shouldn't have did that. That was a rookie ninja mistake, actually. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I'll be returning later with more Tenchu Stepped Assassins, the Ayame playthrough. So, see you guys later.